Protection 4 Netherite Armor. The armor so strong that you can stand in lava and be fine. This is endgame stuff normally only obtained from countless hours of playing. But today, I'm going to show you the fastest way to go from this to this. Also, most of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so if you do enjoy this video, then don't forget to subscribe. Okay, this seed looks pretty good. Um, I don't see a village, but we're in we're in prime location for one. Needless to say, the first thing you need when doing this is a village to get like the trades and stuff that you're gonna need. Um, the good thing is we have got ourselves uh, a bit of iron already, which I, I'm just gonna grab it whilst I've got it. I'll grab the gravel as well, because when you go into desert, you don't know how much of that kind of thing you're gonna have. And so the useful thing about having these shears while we're searching for a village is we can grab wool. So the wool is gonna be used for the netherite section. It's, it's a little bit of a way off yet, but uh, I thought that was a bit of wool, it's some chicken. Um, but yeah, we, we might as well be collecting it. Well, we need to collect it early on, really. I was starting to lose hope when I saw an ocean over there, but we've got a village, which is perfect. Okay, this is really good. I don't actually need leather or sugarcane now because we have got one that has bookcases in and a lectern, which is, uh, is something we need. So this guy, he obviously wants to get in. I don't know if there's some sort of design flaw. Villagers can't get through this gap. If you break the carpet, you can get in. <laughs> I don't know who designed that. I didn't realize, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a thing. So now all I really have to do is just keep breaking and replacing this until I get myself uh, the protection for trade that I want. So it can take a little bit of time. Um, as you can see, we're getting all sorts of different. You can get any any book basically. So we'll just see. Sometimes it can take five minutes. Sometimes it can take 10 minutes. Sometimes it can take longer, shorter. Um, but I'm just going to keep going until I get it. Okay, I, I got Fortune 3, which is actually, you know, not what I'm exactly looking for, but it's a very useful one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want Fortune 3 as well. So I'm going to leave this guy here. Okay, that's, that's good stuff. Well done, mate. You've served your purpose well. And uh, <laughs> tomorrow I shall try and use a different villager to get prop 4. Okay, I've got it. <laughs> I finally got protection 4. The sun is going down. It's going down. You know what, mate? Get some sleep, okay? You've, you've done yourself proud there, okay? I, I, honestly, if you just change your trade, then I will uh, I will not be happy, okay? <laughs> can you imagine if he does? All right, we're just going to both get some sleep, all right? And then in the morning, we can begin the trading for prop 4. I just want to check. Get up. Get up. Are you still prop 4? Thank goodness. All right, do not you dare change your trade. He shouldn't do. Unless something goes very wrong, he shouldn't change his trade. I didn't realize this village was, was overrun with mobs as well because of me. <laughs> I didn't realize it was so late. We were going well into the night, me and that guy. Um, I did have a, well, I have a fletching table here. I don't know if there's a villager left to survive. I, I will need a... Uh, a Fletcher to uh, to uh, to carry on. I've seen trades as low as 28 emeralds for a prop four book. This guy wants 40, which is you know that's a lot of emeralds. It's it's doable though. It just means we need a lot of trees. Okay, this is probably not the area for it. You know, acacia trees. You know, they're great and all, but we could we could do better. So we're going to go and look for uh, a good place and just do some tree chopping. And whilst we're on the hunt, we can also go and shear some sheep on the way, which is very handy. Oh look at that! That's the dream right there. The, the regrowth, instant regrowth. Okay, I, I see in the distance over here. A bit of a forest, so that's that's just going to be what we need. This is a decent sized forest, but good news, there's another village over there. It's a pretty big village, so it looks like there's going to be a lot of beds there, which I'm going to uh, going to be handy for when I'm in the nether. Um, so yeah, we're going to need 160 emeralds, which which seems like a lot for all the prop farm. It, like I say, it seems like a lot, but it's it's not too much. It's it's quite a few stacks of logs. It's probably going to take me about, I'd say, 10-15 minutes to mine the wood, which for the best armor in the game, you know, protection for... That's not too bad. So I've created some fletching tables. I did accidentally punch one of the uh, the fletchers by mistake, and I think that might make the other ones mad. <laughs> All the other villagers mad, so I've, I've kind of messed up a little bit me trading. Um, I don't think this guy, he's not probably not gonna restock for like, you know, a, a quite well, a few Minecraft hours, not actual hours. But this guy, please, please give me a good trade, sir. I'm sorry that I punched your friend or you. Okay, he don't he don't care at all. <laughs> probably didn't like the guy. I believe you are the one I, I accidentally hit, sir. I'm, I'm very sorry. Okay, he's, he looks like he's forgiven me as well. Nobody seems to care that I punched a villager in the face. Also, whilst I've been chopping trees, I've just been taking the time to keep uh, shearing sheep, getting plenty of wool. I mean, ideally, if I get two stacks of wool, that's that's gonna be more than enough. There's another fella here. Let's go and trade with him. Perfect. So we've got 32 emeralds plus a ton of emeralds in that that stack of stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know where the the third fledger is actually. They'd have three of these tables. Okay, I found him. For some reason, he was just hiding around a corner. So there we go. Right, I've just got to wait for them to restock, and then we can trade with the next bit. But we really got two stacks of emeralds. We need we need a little bit over two stacks uh, as well because I need the fortune book. So um, yeah, just gotta wait for those guys to restock. I think I'm gonna go and get some more. I'm gonna start trading for the protection books as well, just uh, just to get that going really. And here he is. Have you missed? Are you kidding me? You 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 are you kidding? Do you know how long I spent? Don't you shake your head at me. You quit that job. Oh my god, I wonder if my, uh, my fortune guys still <laughs> still kept it. And this guy's decided to change to smite. Okay guys, important note, 
get your wood first, and then, <laughs> and then I'd trade with them at least once to lock them in. Okay, I've got to um, get the uh, the right books again. I, I mean, it won't take me too long, but it's <laughs> just a bit of an inconvenience. So ideally, I was hoping to get another Prot 4 book. However, I've actually found a Prot 3 book, which is worth 17 emeralds. So to get two of those would be 34 emeralds, which is the equivalent of Prot 4. And it's actually cheaper than the 40 emeralds before. So I I'm saving emeralds from this guy. So we might as well buy, buy that instead. So if I go like that, that's three of them. And um, now he's locked into that forever, okay? He's never going to change his trade, which is, <laughs> thank goodness I'm sick of doing that. So, um, yeah, this, this, I mean, there's no point me wasting loads of time going for Prot 4 when it was literally, in that case, kind of cheaper to go for Prot 3. Also take some time to trade with this fellow again. There we go. So we're, we're, we're well on our way with Emeralds as well. We've got loads of them. I just need some more books, and I think there are books in with this fella. I will work on getting Fortune with him in a moment, but I kind of want to just get my Prot books first, I think, because the Fortune is just going to make it so much easier when it comes to get in diamonds, so that's kind of why I'm bothered about Look at that, free, free steak waiting for me. So we'll uh, we'll grab all these books. One, two. Okay, so that's that's all the ones that I need. Let's go, and you can see, look at the amount of XP I've got as well, by the way, that, that's that's enough to do the anvil stuff. So yeah, we've got eight of them. That is prop four full armor waiting for me, just needs an anvil, uh, anvil to be used on it. Have you restocked? Oh, you have, look at this, it's all coming together. So now I just need to give four, Oh my goodness, I just got it as well. I was about to say, I just need to get Fortune 3 from this guy. And just like that, it, uh, it got... Whilst I was chopping trees, I did actually find a ravine over here. So I think this will be perfect for uh, for going and, and getting the rest of the iron. It'd just be... Because I know it's here, it's, it's probably worth it. Thankfully, mining iron is probably one of the easiest things in the entire run. Just because iron's everywhere. Especially if you find a ravine like this. It's it's not hard to get like 30 iron. I mean, how much have I got? I've got 22 and I've got like 20 of it smelting. So I'll have a little bit extra just in case I need it down the line. I don't think I will do though, so... I'll grab these two pieces and then we'll head back to my uh, to my little base at the village. Okay, so now for one of the best bits, making an anvil. So we'll put that on there. All right, fortune three pickaxe. That's going to be the big thing because now for diamonds, I could have made two fortune three pickaxes for me. But you know what? I'm overthinking this. Um, right, we now need to make space for all these books. And I've just realized I'm overthinking things because we can make these into prop four books. So already that's more space. I'm just going to dig down. You know what? We've got all this amazing stuff. Um, <laughs> we've got no armor, actually. You know what? I, I really don't want to fall in lava. It's really just not worth it at this point, is it? So let's let's do a bit of safety digging. I'm now at level 12, so we're just going to strip mine. Um, doesn't matter if we find our cave or not, but once I do find, like, if, if I find it while strip mining some diamonds, it's very likely I'm going to get a vein of eight. And if I have a vein of eight, my fortune pickaxe should be very close to getting me 24 diamonds. I may probably only need to find, like, a couple of veins now. I seem to have found the ocean. Um, we're at an underwater ravine, which is interesting. There might be some diamonds just... Just chilling on the side. That's the only edge, but it does open up to a bit of a cave, albeit with a load of creepers. Just, just not what I wanted to see. That's it. Blow, blow them all. Up. Perfect. <laughs> okay, <laughs> at long last, I found some diamonds. All right, that's perfect. Let's get the fortune pickaxe. How many are we gonna get? If, if, if I only got three diamonds. Okay, hold on, hold your horses. Okay, there's a few. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, I think I might have just seen some. We have indeed got diamonds. Perfect. All right, let's get the old uh, fortune pickaxe back. Is it just two? Two more, though. We're up to 11. Okay, we're nearly halfway there. Oh, okay. Perfect. More diamonds. All right. <laughs> it's always amazing when you go around a corner and there's diamonds waiting for you. And there's quite a few here. Um, I don't know if it'll be all the diamonds that I need, but it's, it's going to be pretty close. So let's have a look. Okay, more diamonds. Please, please be a lot. Don't just be one. What, don't, wait, don't mind it with the wrong pickaxe. Let's see. Here we go. Two. Two. Oh, wait. Three. Okay, I take it back. Four. All right, I'm not as mad now. <laughs> it was just like before. It's trolled me twice now. Okay, 16 diamonds. That might be enough, actually, to go to the nether now. We'll make ourselves a chest plate and a helmet. There we go. Oh, look at this. It's perfect. It's all that we need. If we make these three, we make a diamond pickaxe. There we go. Oh, I could have kept a fortune book and made my diamond pickaxe fortune. Even though it doesn't really make a difference because I don't need the fortune pickaxe. It, it still could have been cool. And I should have enough XP as well to uh, do this. So, prop 4 chest plate. Prop 4, yeah. Before the nether update, guys, this would have been the best armor you can get, okay? It protects you from pretty much anything. But, we came here for the very best. So, netherite is next. We go something like that. The good thing here is, like, even if I, like, fell in lava now or something, my armor is so good that it's it's... I'll just be fine. Like, you know what? I'm tempted to just... Oh, look at me. Diamonds, you never cease to amaze me, all right? Let's let's see how many we got here. A little bit late to the party now. You know, once you don't need... Oh. That's a sad state. 
As I was saying, once you don't need diamonds, they just they just keep turning up. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to use these for, but you know, you, you, you can't turn down three diamonds. Let's get rid of that redstone. Okay, there we go. I've I've tw I got twelve diamonds there. Wow. As I was saying, I feel indestructible, guys. I mean, let me just check my armor's on. Yep, <laughs> I can jump in lava. I'm taking no damage here. Like, like, look how strong I am. Like, I can go under lava. See you later. Pop back up. Like, <laughs> it's just. It's just so great. Now you could use your diamond pick to mine up the obsidian, but if you know what you're doing with this, just make a make a portal the uh, the fancy way. All right, perfect. You get out of here, please. Um, the flint and steel right there. Okay. Now then, this is where all those beds are gonna come in handy. I've actually spawned in quite a nice place, so I need to go down to about probably level 13 would be perfect. And I'm digging down. I mean, even if I fall in lava now, it really doesn't matter. We're on level 13. I'm gonna dig a bit of a tunnel. Now you you've probably seen tutorials on how to get netherite, but I'm gonna show you. Like, the best way, okay? This is, you know, without needing TNT. The best way without TNT. The most efficient way to do it. Um, so, yeah. You want to stick around and see what, I, see what I teach you here. So, first of all, you want to hit F3 and G. And that gives you the chunk borders. So, here are the borders, okay? Um, and then we want to go along here. So, this is a corner of a chunk. So, you kind of want to do this along the corners. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure on the reasoning behind this. But I'm pretty sure that it is, uh, it is correct, the reasoning. So, what we do is we dig, like, a five along tunnel. So... We've just got a normal strip mine tunnel going like this. And then off this strip mine tunnel, we've got a nice little uh, a nice little five along bits here. And then you take your beds, okay? And uh, we've got a lot of wool. We're going to have to put everything in the chest first so that we, we have a bit more space. Okay, I've cleared out a bunch of space and I have, I have realized something. I don't think I brought enough wood to do this. <laughs> um, but we're going to see how much we can do anyway. All right, we can do, we can do like 14 beds worth, can't we? Okay, which is it's okay, I suppose, for now. Um, we will just have to nip up. We're in the nether. There's wood in the nether. There's no need to panic about that kind of thing. We'll just have to nip up there. All my gold has finished smelting as well, which is is very nice. Also, if you're on bedrock and you don't know where your chunk borders are, just just go to a multiple of 16 on your coordinates. Now, what you could do is you could put netherrack here, okay, and then explode the bed. But you would you take a bit of damage. You'd, you'd get burnt a bit, okay? It's actually safer. You'll take no damage at all, even with no armor. I, I'll take my armor off to prove a point here, okay? With no armor at all, I'm going to take half a heart of damage. So what you do is as soon as you break it. You need to be looked down and punch the fire that may appear below you. So there wasn't any. There's no lava above. You check You check below and above. And then you see, is there any ancient debris? See, that lava could have been coming on my head. I would have to place blocks above me. Um, no ancient debris first time around. So here we go again. Anything? Oh, <laughs> I just blew up me, <laughs> my little base of operations. I hope my chest is all right. If that's gone everywhere, that's going to be a pain. All right, it's all okay. All right, yeah, just... Just be careful not to uh, not to blow up your base. I tend to just go along until the next chunk border comes. So here we go. You can see the corner here. And then I just dig along five as well. So to be honest, like, I don't know if it's too important it being on chunk borders. Like, if you want, just, just go along, like, 10 to 16 blocks. It just saves me counting the blocks each time. So there we go. Look at that. I punched that fire before I could get me. And oh, look at that. The first ancient debris. It's a shame fortune doesn't work on ancient debris. That would, uh, that would have been very useful. But we got one. Now, sometimes if you dig around a bit, where there's been ancient debris. There's sometimes there's a second one. It doesn't look like there's going to be. It's usually quite close. And just to remind you, I'm on level 13 for this. 13, 14, 15, anything like that is fine. I tend to just go for level 13 because you're guaranteed to not worry about a lot. If there's a lava lake above you, you're not going to not going to affect that. Okay. Oh, I just mined some ancient... See, that's the beauty of as well. Whilst you're mining to that next chunk border, you might come across a bit of ancient debris. I mean, it's red. Oh, wow. I just got three as well. <laughs> It's like throwing my entire bed thing out the window. Yeah, just strip mine. I've got more from strip mining than blowing it up. Trust me. All right. You don't want to strip mine for, for 40 minutes, all right? You'd much rather blow up beds for half an hour. It's 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 just it's just cool. Oh, man. I, I didn't realize that. I blew up this one, but in this one I've just blown up before. There was two ancient debris. I don't know how I missed that. I, like, looked there. I must have looked right at the ancient debris and just not seen it. Two good things to remember about ancient debris. The first thing is it doesn't blow up with explosions. So TNT, beds. Oh, wow, we got three here. <laughs> We're getting some good luck now. But yeah, TNT, end crystals, nothing blow it up. And the other thing is it doesn't burn. So, you know, if I just go and get my ancient debris and chuck a couple in there. Look at that. They're absolutely fine. So that's uh, that's two good things about that. Okay, <laughs> more ancient debris. What? <laughs> I've got, I, I normally, I don't get any ancient debris from the mining side. I just, like, I have practiced and tested this. And it was every time only from getting it from blowing up beds. But obviously this time, things are, uh, things are working. You get your good luck, you get your bad luck. I, I always say, to be honest, it's about half an hour. Like, because it always bounces itself. Like, see, that's why you mine around. There's sometimes a little bit extra. Um, yeah, it's, it's usually about half an hour to get all the ancient debris. I'm not even, I've been going nowhere near half an hour. So this is, this is going well. I'm sorry, fellas, but you, you can't defeat me. I have prop four armor. I, there's no point even trying. I don't want to upset you, but you're doing like half a heart of damage. You, you do know, in fact, you're doing no damage right now, sir. 
But as far as beds are concerned, I, I think I've got all the beds I need. Oh, <laughs> wow, we found, oh, we found two. Perfect, that's all the ancient debris we need. So now I just need to smelt it and then create my prop for netherite armor. So I need to make a smithing table. Then we can craft ourselves the four netherite ingots. And then comes the fun bit. Turning it into netherite armor. Look at that. Beautiful. And after only a few hours, I now have some of the strongest armor in the game. 